What's up, y'all? It's your boy Flex. We're welcome back to my channel. Today's haircut tutorial. You can see my client got the fresh corn rolls. He all he does is need a fresh haircut. So we're gonna do them in taper, bring it down to all even length with the taper and the chin strap. So pay attention to these tactics that I'm about to give you guys. You know it's very important. This is how you build your clientele, give a fresh, detailed, quality haircut. And uh, we're gonna get started. So I always prep the haircut before I get started, just so it can be a lot smoother and um, you know a lot better as far as the transition. So I'm combing it out with my comb. That way, it'll be a lot smoother to cut. So, you can see I'm just coming it out, prepping it. I'm using my wall five star senior cordless, and I'm using my number one guard going with the grain right there. Then, you can see I'm going against the grain now to bring that bolt down to the desired length that I want it to be at. Just keep coming it, keep going over it until you get that, um, you know, basically that definition that you want going with the grain and I go against it fold the air down so I'm just doing the same thing you know going again with the grain then I'll go against the grain pretty much a, a good tactic with this type of coarse hair so now I'm going against it fold that air down make sure not to cut the braid All right, right here, I'm using my wall retro T-cut wireless, making that first guy line, which is the baldness. You know, these are my um, basically T-retro outliners. You know, I use these to line up, use them to bald out. So we're just starting off with the back taper, making that first guy line. Going about a half an inch up, an inch up probably. Then I'm just making that guy line straight, balding it out. Now back to my wall, five star senior cordless. I got my lever open and just making another guy line. Now I'm focused on getting that guy line out that I just put in. You know, it's kind of like dummy proof. Put one guy line in and make sure you get it out before you move to the next step. You know, some people fade up, some people fade down, some people fade in the middle, or some people just go as they cut. But um, me, I like to do the little layer process, you know, uh, kind of dummy proof. Now I'm just getting that guy line out that I just put in. Now I'm going up again with my one guard on my wall five star and senior cordless. And I have the lever closed, so you know, making that guy line again. Once again, you know, just take that line you just put in, you know, take it out, fade it out. Now onto my zero guard from wall. And I have the lever open, you know, just making that guy line lighter. Then I'm eventually close my lever and go back and forth with it to get that guy line out of there. Now back to my no guard on, back and forth with the lever, getting that blend together, and it's gonna come as you go. Got the zero guard back on, back and forth with the lever, just fading until I get that blurriness together how I want it. Now I got my one guard back on and just making sure I get that uh, that left over here below the braids, you know. Like quality is everything in a haircut. It's like art. You gotta see it with your eye. And basically it's your walking advertisement. So you gotta make sure your client is fresh, keep your clients coming back. So, you know, I like to have the brush, brush off the hair and then the hair that I just cut, blow dry it. Now let's move on to the front lineup. I got my one guard and just going with the grain on the front lineup, making sure I'm being very careful and not cutting his braids. You know, um, yeah, this is just laying the hair down. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna go against the grain with it. Just being very careful. Like I said, don't cut the braid. Brushing that hair down, I just cut, you know, cause it'd be hair that you cut, it'll be still sticking on there. So it's all important to keep the brush with you or comb. I prefer a brush when you're cutting. So we're starting this first guy line with the wall retro T cut. My liners, you can use any liners, you know, make sure they're zero gapped or, um, you know, pretty much close. Making that first guy line for this taper for the side. Now I'm using my wall five star senior and just with the lever back and forth, open and close, just getting that contrast, you know, together. Cause it's very important from baldness to that hair. You know, that's where the contract comes into place. Now I'm using my wall, um, my zero guard for my wall, and just basically going up another guy line. You know, same as the back, nothing's gonna change, you know, really, when you're tapering or fading. Fade and tapers is really the same thing, because at the end of the day, it's all fading. So um, making sure to brush the hair out down, that I just cut, and just uh, go up, you know. So I went no guard to zero, now I'm back to no guard on. And just basically cleaning up what I just uh, put in so you can see it's already come together just like that because we our length was a one so so now I'm using my zero guard just fading in the top of that chin strap you know make sure it fades into the taper that way it matches up no guard on fading the uh, top of the chin strap so it could blend right in so now to the other side, we're just gonna do the same thing, just really fast forward it, you know, because it's really the same process, you know. If you guys wanna watch this over again, um, just rewind it, because it's really just the same process for the other side. You know, the whole techniques and the tactics, you know, same guards, same fade method, you know, just, so just, I'm just fast forward this part. All right, y'all, now we're just prepping the hair. I just spray some spritz on it, meaning holding spray. And you can kind of see how my client's hair naturally, his lineup goes slanted to the left, which is your right. So um, yeah, I'm just starting off with the lineup, had that holding spray, just barely tapping it, letting the liners work for me. I got my index finger as my um, kickstand, you know, that way I could be more steady with it. And just line it up going with the lineup you can see it's already come together you know you don't need to make a pushback lineup to have it clean so I'm just going with the flow of his natural hairline and um, you know making it clean you can see how much difference that is already as far as that side then we're gonna move on to the next side you don't ever want to push too hard on your client's head and make them bleed you know just let the liners work you know adjust your liners so they can hit right brush down the hair and just go with the flow as far as your lineup. Just barely tapping it, you know, got the client's head very steady. You know, you can use that by using your other hand as support. How I got it right there, just getting my liners and doing that, um, that arch right there for the taper. If it was a ball taper, it would be no arch, but I got an arch right there for the side lineup. And you can see how already fresh that is. So now for the back lineup, same thing, got the air folded down and just barely tapping the neck part. You know, the neck tends to be a more sensitive spot, so you always want to be light handed. Clean up all that neck here. Use your other finger to fold down that air. Just going with it, using the corner of my blade around the air. Now to this chin strap, you know, so I'm just going with it already. You can see just cleaning it up. Then after that, I'm gonna razor it up. So just clean that hair up, brush it, get all that long hair that folds over it. 
Same with the cheat, you know, just shave it down with the your shave me uh with your liner. Then line it up so my hand was in the way. So you can already see the lineups there, you just gotta clean it up. Follow that line, clean up all that extra hair that's growing back. Now I'm using my Remington shaver to make it extra bald, more efficient, faster. Same thing with the other side of the lineup, you know, using my index as a kickstand for uh, making my hand more steady. Got my other hand, you know, to make the head steady, you know, because you're in control of the head, it's your haircut. You know, you gotta make it sure it looks right. So same thing, just letting these liners work for me. You know, they are adjusted. These are the Slimline Pros by Andy's. And yeah. Using my straight razor blade, I use Derby Premiums, you know, I'm a big fan of them, and that's just my preference. Um, I tried the other razor blades, but I like Derby Premiums, um, that's my go-to, you get it on Amazon, but yeah, I'm using the straight razor, I'm making, making sure I'm stretching the skin, and just letting that razor glide, you know, on the skin itself, you gotta be very careful with this, but you never learn until you try it, so you gotta um, try it sometime, you know, make sure somebody's comfortable, um, it's okay to be afraid, but Right here, we're just stretching the skin, letting that razor work for me. And um, yeah, you know, I am experienced, so I've been doing this for a long time. But we all got to start from somewhere, so I highly recommend you guys to start on your dad or someone that will, you know, trust you and will be okay if you do end up cutting them, you know, for you new beginners and you upcoming barbers, you know. But other than that, for you barbers that's already know the game, I'm just stretching the skin, nothing new. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it when you use this razor to make sure that strength that skin stretched and um to best just be gentle with it let the razor work for you you know the tools work for you now i'm cleaning up the neck here below um the chin strap just getting it making sure it's all cleaned up and bam y'all y'all can see how much difference it was when it first started until now so this is the finished product you know basically a low ball taper with the lineup and the chin strap. You know, that's a one all around and basically a taper, you know. So practice these tactics, you know, that I give y'all. It's gonna go a long way, get your clients coming back. I appreciate everybody tuning in. It's your boy Flex and Rue. Make sure to like this video, drop comments if you want me to do any of the haircut tutorials. If you got any questions on this haircut I just did, you know, um, I'm always gonna be here and I'll always respond to your comments. So, you know, it don't gotta be about haircut, but anything in general, if you got any questions about it, drop below in the comment section. Let's get 500 likes on this video. Please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Until next time, y'all, peace.